we've been talking about this morning, it's a big day for two women in Canadian politics, Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott, both announcing their intentions today. Will they remain as independents or will they join a new party? Now, Danielle Smith from 770 CHQR joins us this morning to continue the conversation on the story. And Danielle, I'm curious what you think is going to happen. I'm just going to go way out on a limb and predict that they're going to join the Conservative caucus. Nobody's suggesting that. And so I figure me as well. If they want to have a meaningful role in public life, that would be the best move for both of them. Because already in Jane Philpott's riding, things the tide has turned at the provincial level to the Conservatives. It has been Conservative in the past. If she wants to get re-elected, doing so under the Conservative banner would make the most sense. And then in Jody Wilson-Raybould's riding, it was a three-way race last time around. So that would also tip the balance in her favour. It would also demonstrate for the Conservatives that they have a pretty big tent and would probably deliver the last crushing blow to Justin Trudeau's leadership. So if you want to have a meaningful role in public life, that would make the most sense because the NDP, uh, there isn't any scenario that anyone thinks they're going to win the next election. The Greens may be gaining ground in pockets, but again, trying to win that seat in Ontario wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So I think if, if they're going to stay in politics, that would really make the most sense. It's very, very hard to get elected as an independent, and I don't know that either of them would be able to with the dynamics that at, is at play right now. Could well be that they both just decide that they're jointly announcing their resignation, and Jody Wilson-Raybould may go back to, uh, to uh, Indigenous politics, where she came from, and Jane Philpott may go back to doing um, to, to doing either medical practice or maybe even advocacy in the medical world. So I would say like, they've, they've got two very different paths ahead of them. It's sort of interesting that they're, they coordinated their, their press conferences, but it seems like uh, the, the idea of them joining the Greens has been rejected. It's been suggested. It was suggested, but then uh, CBC reported that it does not look like that is the case. And I, I can't see really any other option for them unless they're going to call for Justin Trudeau to be removed so that they can find their way back into the Liberal caucus under a new leader. Wouldn't that be something? Well, I guess it's anyone's <laughs> guess out there. Uh, with Philpott saying she wouldn't necessarily back Sheer, do you think that that is a possibility still? Yeah, the two of them are a very, I would put them far on the, on the more left-wing side of the spectrum. And so it would be kind of a hard maybe a hard battle for them to be within the conservative um, movement, the conservative caucus. That's why it's sort of unpredictable. I mean, Jody Wilson-Raybould has in the past, and I think Jane Phil Philpott as well, they both, they both wanted to stay part of the Liberal Party. They just have a dispute with their leader. And so the, we've seen before that, uh, that uh, MPs have left public life, gone off to high-profile positions, maintained their profile, and then when there is a leadership change coming back in, that may make the most sense for, the, for these two, considering how, how strongly they still feel about being part of that liberal family. All right. Thanks, Danielle. Yeah, thank you.